Your cat's straining. Is he or she constipated or blocked with a urinary obstruction? Find out how to know in this video. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Before we get going too far in this video, I really encourage you to get a copy of my free book. You can click the link in the box below for more information. Your cat's straining. Is he straining because they have, he's having difficulty um, defecating? Or is he, and he's constipated? Or is he straining because he's blocked, he's unable to pee? One's a veterinary emergency, one's more amino bowl to home remedies. Yes, Murray. It's gonna help my case and my cause if Murray gets something positive today. All right, Murray. Sometimes when the camera's on, good things happen to the cat. See? Yes. Oh, he likes some attention. And after you're gonna get food. See? It's not all bad. Believe it or not. So this video was inspired by one of you guys, my YouTube subscribers, who had this very same question. Um, she has a, ma a male cat, he's straining, difficulty going to the bathroom. The assumption was that he was constipated and unable to defecate. But that's not always the case. And in many, many times it can look exactly the same. Your cat could be straining and he's straining because he's trying to defecate and difficulty going to the bathroom, pooping, or is he actually obstructed? Is there, is there a urinary emergency and you need to be taking immediate veterinary care? So a straining cat. So to begin with, a brief discussion of constipation, obstipation. Fairly common in our cats, middle-aged, older cats. One, it could be they've, they're eating relatively low fiber food. More, more typically though, it's this dry kibble, not enough moisture. When that's the case, you know, we can lead to these guys being constipated. Um, there is a condition uh, called feline obstipation. The stool can get really hard and firm. Secondarily, you can get this really uh, dilated colon, called megacolon, that is a more serious underlying health problem. And it can look like a lot of straining. But typically, that's sort of ongoing. Your cats have a, a history of straining to get defecate. You're seeing some dry stool. For cats with feline lower urinary tract disease, more often than not, the history is there's frequent urination, frequent trips to the litter box, they're often maybe passing a little bit of blood if you're able to see some of the urine. Um, often too, they're gonna to be licking at their genitals because it's really irritated and inflamed. Um, other times they're urinating outside of the litter box. More commonly, but in some cases, they can be completely obstructed with either a stone called a struvite stone um, or a calcium oxalate stone, regardless that can completely block the flow of urine. So if that's the case, I mean, how do you know? Your cat's straining, like, what's the first thing? You know, say he's been constipated in the past, like, oh, he's probably lightly constipated. How do you know the difference? The first thing, the principal, I'm gonna see a cat run into the vet clinic, you're gonna examine your cat. You need to palpate his belly. Palpating his belly, just in behind his, his rib cage here. My thumb, my forefinger are moving together. His bladder is gonna be is sitting in the, the back part, the cuddle part of his abdomen. Let's show me your bladder, is, Murray. Come on, get a cat. Oh. We're just gonna try, right? Your bladder's, so his bladder is sitting in here, this lower part of his belly. In a cat that is obstructed, at urinary obstructor, right? So he's got some type of stone that's blocking his urethra and blocking his flow of urine. This belly is gonna be very distended and firm. And it feels like, if you imagine this fully distended bladder, like this hugely enlarged, um, balloon filled with water and it's putting all this pressure on the abdomen so you'll often just lightly press here and you'll actually feel this big ball just putting all this pressure on this belly if on the other hand um, we're suspecting more it's more just constipated difficulty going to the bathroom well first I mean just have a look right just lift his tail you know look at his bum does it look like uh, it's it's lightly distended <laughs> Is there some firm stool there? All right, Mar, are we just looking and seeing? 
But while you're doing that, that's also a great option just to have a look. Typically, if our cats are gonna be completely obstructed, 90% of the time, it's we're look, dealing with these male cats. So look at his penis and have a feel. Does it look like it's, he's dripping a little bit of urine and it's been inflamed? Okay, Murray, let's show them what I'd look at. Kitty, I just want everybody to see how we would do this properly. Unfortunately, Murray isn't being super compliant, but the, my point is you're lifting your cat's tail, you're gonna look at his anus. Is there some dried poop around his anus where he looks like he's straining? Secondary, you can just palpate in his belly. If you feel this big distended bladder, this big balloon that's likely a urinary bladder, he needs to go to see a vet as soon as possible. If you go up a bit harder, it feels um, fairly firm, but his upper butt is not quite, it's not quite as low down. Maybe there's a little bit of texture to it, like you're dealing with stool and that's feces and he's slightly constipated. What you do, you can lie your cat on his side, lift it up his tail, doing your with Murray. And, you know, look here, I'm looking at Murray's penis, this sheath, the penile sheath. And if he is, been, if he's obstructed, you're, I would expect to see some drops of urine. I would expect to see an area where he's licking. Likely I'm gonna see some blood around the penis versus, you know, just some firm stool around the anus. It's not always obvious as far as is, is, is it a cat being obstructed versus a cat being constipated. Um, veterinary wise, you get pretty good at it because we see it so often. For the most time, most biggest thing I encourage you guys to be really watching your cats. Are they regular urinating? You're cleaning their litter box twice a day. You see what's going in the litter box. If they're not much in there, likely he or she is not urinating. Big red flag. Are they regu regularly defecating or not? Are you seeing that in the litter box? Third, you're lifting up their tail. I mean, you're having a good look and seeing. I mean, having a look at his anus. Is there dried stool there? Has there dry, a bit of dried urine, dried blood? blood mixed with urine, a bit of urine leaking out versus being constipated and versus a cat that's got a urinary obstruction. Lastly, looking at your cat's history, right? And what he's on. Somewhere like Murray, he's on 100% of canned food, tons of moisture. This cat has never been constipated. I know that. You. So if I did see him straining, I'd be like instantly, in my mind, it'd be pretty clear there's something urinary going on. Then I would palpate his urine, have a palpate his bladder, have a better look at him and um, also get a urine sample, have his urine looked at, have a more of a workup to figure out what's going on underlying wise. As far as sort of long-term preventive treatment, more than anything is additional fluids and that comes from the form of raw food, from canned food, to eliminating all that kibble, getting all that dry stuff, Murray. And the short-term treating them with some type of anti-inflammatory, be something really nice and soothing like oral CBD tincture, then third, decreasing some of the stress. We know it's such a big trigger for cats that have feline lower urinary tract disease. And the fourth big thing is getting them on some type of supplement that helps sort of um, you take away the inflammation and the lining of the bladder wall. A real good supplement, glucosamine, chondroitin, MSM. It's found in our Ultimate Feline Health Formula. I have a link to it below too. Thank you guys for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets. Thank you, Murray, for being sort of cooperative. I hope you found it somewhat helpful and informative and at least you have a better sense of you know, obstruction versus constipation and, um, so you can better gauge it and know what to do in the future. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys real soon. Stop the drums.